So uh, I just realized the game has so big inconsistencies that even though you know those dates that appear on the beginning of the sequence are wrong as well. It's so weird. Like the whole calendar is screwed up in terms of the storyline because we're going from May to April on the ending part of the game. But in terms of dialogues and just like what's going on, we are in the future but not in the past. It's so weird, okay? And I doubt it's like, you know, language barrier problem in development or something. It's just not paying attention to what's going on I feel like with the game. I don't know. Let's just continue I guess. <laughs> April. Oh wow! Trees? Mountains? That's way different environment. It's not a desert anymore. Paints. Oh, graffiti. Paint the craft before entering. <laughs> okay. I'm taking... yeah, red of course. I love red. How do I paint it then? It's not red, it's white. Why? <laughs> I can't even change the color. Goddamn game. This is so bad. Like in the attention to detail. What's new? I don't know where are we going now at this point. There's no indications on the map either. Joel's diary? I've been trying to avoid the question this whole time. Why did I do this? What led me to set off on this madman's journey? Finding grace, obviously. But there's a part of me that won't quite believe that. It feels like there's something more to it. What's that happening? I needed to escape, to start over. But at what cost? Grace probably isn't even out here. It would be better for me to try and accept it. I'm going to end up alone. Although, who knows? That may be what I've been needing for a long time. What is this even? Ah, we're repairing the communication device, okay. Where the fuck it disappeared? <laughs> Here, okay. Done! Modify wave. Oh, I guess I'm trying to make like those waves similar, right? Here we go, Jesus Christ. Oh, so long. Very precision based, but like shitty precision. <laughs> Heading to the new coordinates. Alright, oh, what's happening there? It's like a temple in the mountain? It's like literally the end of the road. Like there's nowhere to go after that. There we go. It's a church. What? Wow, that's interesting. It's like a mini... I don't know how to say this. It's like not mini church, it's different saying. But I don't know, it's a bit weird. Wait, gardening. That's Grace doing, basically. Uh, cassette? Personal tape. <sighs> another sleepless night, another bottle of wine. Alcoholic. Talking to myself again. As if I didn't seem crazy enough already. you can start to feel so much that even after fulfilling your biggest dreams you still feel like you're empty inside I guess what helps us keep moving forward is the pursuit of some unachievable goal it gives us a reason to live but when you reach it it somehow becomes worthless and you need something else. Maybe it's not what you truly wanted after all. I feel silly. I don't know how I could have made it this far. God, he doesn't deserve this. Paying for my mistakes. I never should have sent it. What a stupid decision. The hell was I thinking? On the other hand, however, I don't think he's that daring. I mean, he's never been a risk taker, right? Can we activate this? Oh, Grace? Who's out there? Grace? Is that you? Joel? I can't believe it! You came! She's alive. You're alive! Of course I'm alive. I'm tougher than you thought. What happened, Grace? 
you vanished without a trace from one day to the next. And suddenly your hovercraft shows up at the Citadel with no one on board? Damn it, we thought something had happened to you. Well, I'm fine, can't you see? You could cheer up about it. I'm totally cheery. But where are you? Why don't you come here so we can talk face to face? I'm out looking for some minerals I need. The alarm went off in my communication device saying someone had entered the camp. That's why I called. This place just looks amazing. How long have you been here? Uh, it's hard to say. Time seems to pass at a different pace here. And in all that time, I guess you never got a chance to make contact with the Citadel. You know, to say you were okay and all that? Joel, things aren't as simple as they seem. Finding a good signal out here is sheer madness. Of course. I'm sure it's far easier to design an alarm system than an antenna. What are you trying to say? I don't know, Grace. I don't know. You're doing fine, but didn't bother to inform anyone. I guess. Suddenly, the hovercraft appears at the Citadel. There's something fishy going on here. H hang on, Joel. I'm on my way over. We'll talk about this in a minute, okay? We're gonna actually meet her? No, tell me what's going on, or I'm taking off. What? Joel, c calm down, okay? Don't tell me you sent the hovercraft on purpose just to lure me out here. I didn't force you to come. You know me. You know I can manage on my own. I didn't need you to rescue me. Huh? If you really thought I was dead, would you have risked your life to look for me? Why are you actually here? I just knew it. How could I be so stupid? Hey. You know you needed this more than I did. No Excuse you. Say, you weren't happy back at the Citadel. You needed a change. Don't you think you could have spoken with me about this first? If I had asked, would you have come? At least you could have tried. You wouldn't have listened. Or have you forgotten what you told me the last time we spoke? Saying I should give up on all this, that I was just being childish, that I should grow up and settle down. Well, look at everything I've accomplished. Is that what this is about? Trying to show me I was wrong? Fine, you win. This whole experience, the, the, the trip, I've had a lot of time to think about what I want and who I want to share it with. Ever since my parents passed away, you were the only person who stuck by my side. You've been like a brother, my best friend. Look, at first I didn't want to admit it. But losing our relationship was one of the reasons I ran away from the Citadel. I needed to fight back somehow, even if it seemed like sheer madness, to recover what we had back in the day. I feel like you're searching for the same thing in a certain way. I don't know. Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, we don't know the backstory, okay. I also realized something during this trip. I mean... It became clear that I'm always living in someone else's shadow. I guess, but... That I've been out of touch with myself for years now. I have ignored who I am. You may be right about me needing all this. But I'm sick of you making all of my decisions for me. Of that you is thinking true. you're entitled to toy with me like I'm just your little puppet. You've been doing this our entire lives, Grace. I am my own person. I know. This has nothing to do with my feelings towards you or towards Elena. It only has to do with me, which is why I've decided to go back home and be with my son. Mm. Because I want to spend my time with him. I know being here means a lot to you and that you've made a huge effort. Now is not exactly an easy time for you to go back home. I, I, I get that. But if you want to stay near me, you can't keep isolating yourself from the rest of the world. You may be right. But I need to stay here. 
even if it means losing you. Did they just accept no. Grace? I mean, maybe. So confusing. I am really sorry for putting you in danger. <laughs> None of this was some evil plan that I cooked up. Believe me, I just. I made some rash decisions in a moment of weakness. But I should also stick to my own path. I finally managed to build my own home. A place where I belong. I can't sacrifice that so easily. Knowing that I'm still someone important to you, well, I guess that's enough for the time being. And believe me, I, I haven't ruled out going home. Someday. In other words, I should just go, despite everything? You're not even going to come here and say goodbye. I think that would only make matters worse. <laughs> I get it. Anyway, back to your smashed up ship. Right now it belongs to you more than it does to me. Joel, the pilot of the sands. <laughs> Who would have thought? I'm so proud of you, you know? Be careful out there. Okay. You too, Grace. What the fuck? Oh my god, this is so bad. We have a thing that with adventure games and quests, like the storylines are just shit. Why is it so hard to make something cohesive? It's not the problem of like, you know, money or like just design. It seems like it's just a problem of developing something, but then kind of like stopping halfway through and then just like fucking it over. It's like, it's so weird to me. I'm kind of curious if we would choose the other option if the storyline would be different, but I'm pretty sure not. Because we chose to accept Grace, but the outcome was to like deflect her. So that made no sense if there was a choice. Like what? So I can appreciate the art design and sound for sure. Like those are like the strong points of the game. It's very like, you know, this Firewatch, this... I would say Shadow Pan is a little bit of an exaggeration, but kind of like a vibe of adventure, kinda, you know? You're going somewhere to discover a mystery that is like, you know, important to the character. So that's fine. I thought that the puzzles were unclear, but in a way that they were misleading most of the time. And it's not because like the game didn't lead you by hand. It was just like sometimes I was searching for like nothing because there was no indication that I should do something. That was the problem. It was just basically searching through the aircraft for something that changed. Like just some detail that you have to do something. There was no like, you know, waypoint or like no list to do, no just guiding that you have to do something because sometimes you are doing all the puzzles you finished and then you were waiting to arrive somewhere but like it took so much time to actually like just go somewhere that it was not even certain that you have to wait it's just weird let's check out the other option but pretty sure nothing will change let's confront her that's not the point you tricked me i don't know if i can ever forgive you my life has changed I can't run all these risks anymore. I have sacrificed a lot to come out here. My marriage is falling apart. And for what? For another one of your little games? I thought you were truly in danger. Don't you dare blame me for what's happening between you two. Your relationship wasn't going well, regardless of all this. But it's, it's and, and so I've bad. also had to put up with a lot of stuff. You were the only person I could rely on, Joel, and you abandoned me. You gave me the shaft to dive into a love story which you thought would make you so happy. But no matter how hard you try to convince yourself, you know it doesn't work like that. And that gives you the right to manipulate me? No. But it does give me the right to try and help you. That is how not a help. How many times did you say you needed a change in your life? That you felt like something was missing? I've been there by your side for years supporting you so that that would happen. And all you did was pull further and further away from me. There's nothing else I can do. This is the last trick up my sleeve. Trick. If you don't want to stay here, you're free to go back. No one's stopping you. It's not that simple. 
You may be right about me needing to do this, but I am sick of you making all of my decisions for me. Okay, the same dialogue. Yeah, I don't know. It's just that there's just no cleverness kind of behind the storyline at all. No matter what we choose, no matter what we end up with, outcome is the same. And it's just that those characters, everyone is problematic. Like they have a very problematic personalities, borderline sociopathic. And I would know that, you know. <laughs> those are just people that create problems and then blame other people for that but they are the ones that should take responsibility for whatever they are doing in their lives you know so i don't know i really wanted this game to be good but i feel like it just plateaued in terms of this design it could be really good but i feel like there was a point in the concept that it became too ambitious i think for the project i feel kind of weird now completing this because nothing pretty much was accomplished in terms of storyline in terms of the gameplay we just experienced problematic relationship between those people and we didn't really learn anything from it but uh that's done so let's move on i suppose